It certainly feels like summer is almost here on these beautiful bluffs of the Malibu Nature Preserve. Time to motivate those muscles, flex your confidence, and show off that body. Let's get bikini ready. I'm Jackie Warner, fitness expert and celebrity trainer. Being physically fit is just one part of the puzzle. When it comes to our well being, it's a combination of mind, body, and spirit. After all, if you feel good, you look good. And Fitness Magazine has just what you need this season to get bikini ready. On today's show, it's all about like confidence and feeling good and being active. Suits that'll have you looking sensational. And we tried to hit every major muscle group. A workout designed to sculpt you into shape. We're serving up healthy snacks with Terry Gans, author of The Small Change Diet. All natural, no preservatives, no hormones added. Skin is in. At Fitness, we put together a great summer checklist for you to use from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Plus, getting toned means having the right shoe. Skechers Pro Speeds are so great to run in because they have a smart shoe design and a safe and effective way to help fight fat. This summer, dare to go bare. After all, you've been working hard to get bikini ready. From a New York City photo shoot to the South Florida sunshine, we've got sexy, sleek, and trendy looks for every shape. Time to suit yourself. That's great, isn't it? Strong, confident, positive. Real women showing off their assets as they brave the cameras in the season's hottest bathing suits. They all have great self-esteem and they felt really great about their bodies. They all work out, so they're super confident. Hair, makeup, manis, petties, the women were given the royal treatment. RG and the fitness team started out with about 900 suits and narrowed it down to the perfect one for each body type. And the perfect setting to show some of them off? Soleil on the ocean in sunny South Florida. So let's dive in. Apple shapes are bigger on top, narrower through the hips. So consider a sexy one piece with cutouts and a plunging neck. A vintage inspired two piece option, high waisted bottoms and halter neck top from Hayden Harnett. For busty women, it's all about support. The trick is to get something that gives you full coverage. While hourglass girls can go for flirty and feminine. Like this red Betsy Johnson layer cake suit. P.S. Ruffles are huge this season. String bikinis look best on petite frames. This year's graphic prints are the way to go. Show off your skills in a Roxy Stop and Glow bikini. There's nothing sleepy about this O'Neill Dreams print. Paddle on. Protecting your eyes is a necessity. These oversized Oakley shades do the job, especially when paired with a floppy straw hat. And speaking of pear, this high cut Mayo from Marisha looks best on pear shaped ladies color, so much color out there this year. Neon is huge, bold yellow, reds, pinks, just everything across the board. How about sexy citrus? Orange is a Sunshine State favorite and it's got universal appeal. Whether in a strapless one piece, check out the cutouts from the San Paolo collection of Joe DeMar or the Southern California fringe cutie. Get ready to have a ball this summer. I want them to feel confident and excited. The sun is coming out, the weather's warming up, I can't wait to hit the beach. I'm gonna look so great. Being fit is more than just working out. It's an attitude from your choice of physical activity to your diet, from your fashion POV to your beauty regime. This mind-body-spirit connection is vital and you'll find everything you need to live healthy in the pages of Fitness Magazine. I love what you guys did here. Fitness Editor-in-Chief Betty Wong knows what women want. Useful and practical information that can easily fit in today's busy, on-the-go lifestyles. Fitness Magazine is really about making small changes that lead to big success, and we let readers define success on their own terms. And that might mean losing a few pounds or getting more muscle. We really equip readers with the strategies and tools to reach their goals. You'll get the latest workouts, plus you'll find everything you need to feel and look good. Because fitness is about more than just, well, fitness. 
All the newest launches for summer. We have mm -hmm. the sunscreen. From beauty. We break down the best trends in beauty and give them to her in a very actionable, accessible way. I think this little keyhole detailing will be nice. It'll create some little visual interest. You'll see a little skin. To fashion. The great thing about fitness is that we really address women's fit issues, and there's something in our magazine for every body type. Plus nutrition and health. We give readers recipes that will help them lose weight, help them stay in shape, boost their energy, and all our recipes are really delicious. They provide the tools all of us can use to maximize our potential and motivate us to do more. When you're fit and active, you just feel better about yourself. You feel more energetic. Our articles really embody this sort of you can do it attitude. You can do it is an important mantra and an annual challenge for readers. It's a four week plan that if you follow our diet and our exercise routines, you will get proven results. More than a million women have followed the program with success. Check out this month's issue and the website for more info to sign up and get started or go to your iPhone or iPad. And speaking of iPads, Fitness recently launched their iPad application. I love that we're able to deliver everything that our readers expect, but in a whole new medium. Motivation is key when it comes to working out. That's why Fitness Magazine is always on the lookout for the best trainers, new exercises, hottest classes, and targeted moves, all designed to help you achieve your goals this summer. It's all about getting bikini ready. So here's our beach body boot camp. We're gonna pick it up a little bit, all right? We headed to Sherman Oaks, California, where fitness guru Mark Harari gave us the 411 on how to get toned and trim this swimsuit season. One of the things I always say in class is change equals change. If you do the same thing to your body over and over, your body has no reason to change. Harari says women often neglect a whole area of fitness. The strength and, and resistance training with weights is so important for your body to build strength and to get your body lean and toned. You can't do that just running on a treadmill. One simple tool, the resistance band, is all you need. With the band, you can do everything from chest to shoulders to arms to back to legs to butt, core. You can do a lot of twisting stuff. It's just a very simple piece of equipment. So let's get started. The squat and twist is designed to give those glutes and quads a nice burn. As you press back up and come back up out of that squat, you're gonna twist your upper torso to the right side. Next comes the hike and row for the shoulders and back. Row in, pull up, extension back out. Good, keep that motion going. We do the proposal curl. We're gonna use the resistance band, same band we've been using. Let's do three of these right here. Then take it to the other side and hit those triceps. One motion, straight out to the right. Good, then bring it back in. Good, you're just hitting that tricep going across the body right there. For a challenging move that works your core, try the rock band. Okay, you ready? We're gonna do the side plank pull. Rotate forward, drop it down to the floor. You can work your shoulders and glutes at the same time with the flying sumo technique. Bring them down, press up, fly wide, good. And finally, you can use the resistance band to make your push-ups a bit more challenging. You can do all of these exercises, or just a few, because as Mark believes, every little bit counts. The time is gonna go by one way or the other. You can't stop that. So do something. Get up and do something. You can choose to change your body. All these signature moves are in this month's May issue of Fitness on fitnessmagazine.com, and you can even get the workout on your new app for the iPad and other tablets. After a great workout like that, it's time to think about a healthy snack that tastes good and is good for you. And they're also easy to do. Remember, it's important to have a well-balanced diet that includes fruit, fiber, and protein. Today we're gonna make two fabulous snacks. It's very important after working out that you eat something, ideally within one to two hours. The first thing is a berry parfait. Start with some granola or it could be a high fiber cereal of your choice. Measure maybe about an eighth of a cup. Next ingredient will be the berries. Now, if berries aren't in season, remember you can always use frozen. And here, maybe about a half a cup. Really want to put some fruit in here for the fiber and the carbs. Next, I'm gonna put in at least a half a cup of cottage cheese. Very important here because I want to make sure I get the protein. And a half a cup of cottage cheese, you get 14 grams of protein. So that snack will really keep you fuller longer. What I love about Daisy Cottage Cheese is that it only has four ingredients. It's also all natural, has no hormones or no preservatives added. And last is the topping. Topping here with some 
sliced almonds, high in monounsaturated fats. It's a healthy fat, it's good for your heart. The next snack we're gonna do is called the pizza pita. And it's a great post-workout snack, but it's also a great anytime snack for the entire family. The first thing I do is start with my pita and I toast it for about one minute. The next thing I do is I take some pesto sauce and put it on top of my pita, just to cover it, give it some flavoring, and also to give it a little olive oil, which is another healthy fat that's really good for everyone. Then I put my cottage cheese. And this brand is actually known to be one of the freshest available. What's really great about cottage cheese, it's just such a flexible food. It goes with so many things. As you saw, it goes in a berry parfait and now on a pizza pita. And make sure you use at least a half a cup so you're getting enough protein for your snack. Then I top it with some tomatoes. Get some health benefit again of getting some veggies into our day. And last, I do a little topping of basil. Here we have some delicious fresh basil, but it's okay if you use dried what's ever available. And this is so delicious, you won't even miss real pizza. For more delicious recipes, go to daisybrand.com. There's more to come as Get Bikini Ready continues after this.